The nation is in the midst of a historic expansion of regulatory activity. Do you know federal agent agencies are churning out 4,000 new regulations every year? Our Center for Capital Markets, a capital markets competitor in this, is pursuing here a practical agenda to ensure that job creators have access to capital by fixing or replacing some of the provisions of the Dodd-Frank uh, bill that simply don't work as they were planned, while also pursuing regulations to act in areas that the law did not address. Now, we're also very concerned about the Department of Education's proposed uh, gainful employment rule, which discriminates against private sector colleges and universities. This is wrong, and this is unfair. These institutions can play a major role in helping our nation close a serious skills gap. We're going to do everything we can to change or stop the rule as it is currently written. Another serious regulatory challenge, which by the way is absolutely, it's very abusive, but I think it's absurd, is the sue and settle process. With a wink and a nod, an interest group sues the EPA. They agree on a settlement. They find a court to bless it, and even get to collect legal fees, courtesy of the American taxpayer, with no transparency and little opportunity for public input, new regulations are then imposed on business and our economy, and those that proposed it walk away with a check. Between 2009 and 2012, EPA settled with interest groups at least 60 times, creating some 100 new regulations. In 2014, the Chamber will continue to work directly with federal agencies and with Congress to win changes and improvements to Obamacare, Dodd-Frank, and many other regulations. And when these efforts fall short, and they will sometimes, and the regulators insist on overstepping their bounds, then we'll do what we know how to do, and we'll head to the courts and sue them. We're also making the case that government needs to reform the way it writes and enacts rules and regulations. The chamber is building support for legislation that would modernize the regulatory system, streamline the permitting process, and blunt the abusive practice of sue and settle. 